Hey guys, uh, here we are um, looking at this. Uh, it's called a petcock and uh, it's leaking. So I'm trying to figure out where in the world it's coming from. So uh, that's the biggest thing right now. Um, so taking off the plate here, you can see, I think once I get that plate off, you can see a whole bunch of corrosion and uh, um, uh, unfortunately, oh no, there we go. Oh, I thought I would show it on the camera, but, and I believe I do here just shortly. Oh, I dropped something. Okay, so that thing just fits in there, and it fits in a slotted uh, area, so it's pretty easy. But here you can see kind of the, there's a bit of garbage there, so. I'm going to take like a razor blade and just kind of scrape it off. Long story short, um, I put it all back together and this wasn't, didn't fix the issue. It was still, you know, dripping gas like crazy. As soon as you turned the valve, uh, you know, you would get like, let's say after a minute or two, you'd get a, a slow drip and, uh, yeah it's this thing isn't the easiest on fuel so when your thing is leaking uh your pet cock is leaking then it's even worse right so um so cleaning it up didn't really do too much well i will show you what i did do that fixed it and uh it basically cost 85 cents we'll see it shortly here um There we go. So this piece here, this rubber ring is basically 85 cents. Uh, I picked it up, just went down to a local speed shop and uh, kind of matched up with whatever I could find. So that little rubber ring uh, basically was the issue. Uh, I changed it, put it, put it back in, put it all back together and uh, Turned, put some fuel in it and turned that gas line back and forth on and off position and uh, yeah that uh, basically uh, took care of everything no more leaking uh, um, pet, pet cock I believe it's called uh, it's kind of a weird name but whatever um, the other areas it could be leaking obviously is if you look um, we'll go back to the gas tank Okay, I'm not sure where I'm going here. I just want to see the gas tank again, but um, right there, you see, there's a gasket. There's a rubber gasket between the um, tank and the petcock, and uh, so make sure you change that. I did change that as well, and obviously, no, no difference, right? So it was definitely that rubber ring. If you look. Uh, I have it on the table there or the counter you can see there that's a rubber ring so uh, there was a little bit of dirt and sediment in there so I'm not even sure where that was coming from because everything I cleaned out I thought I had cleaned out nicely but uh, when I took that thing apart obviously there must have been sediment uh, from way back so um, so I cleaned that all out too and uh, let that dry so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, took care of that uh, leaking issue, which was uh, kind of a more of a, a. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Oh yeah, here you go. Look, see if I, if you noticed, right there, there's water bubbles. So there's water bubbles that kind of came out. So that, I'll show that in the next video. Um, but yeah, that's an indication of an issue there. So thanks for watching, guys. As always. Uh, Search for Irwin Tech and uh, we'll see you on the next video.